New pills that work to treat COVID-19 are slowly being rolled out to area hospitals and healthcare settings this week. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains how they could make a big difference. Hey there, everybody. Interrupting community transmission is a critical piece to stopping the spread of this virus. Well, right now, the focus of these new antiviral drugs has been their ability to keep people from getting really sick from the virus. A newer study shows they may soon play a critical role in the next step of pandemic control. The study, believe it or not, was conducted in ferrets. Researchers say that ferrets transmit the SARS-CoV-2 virus efficiently with very few clinical symptoms, much like the virus spreads in young adults. As part of the study, published in the journal Nature, ferrets were infected with the virus and given the anti-COVID medication found in the new Merck pill known as malnupiravir. It didn't just stop COVID-19 progression in the ferrets infected with the virus. It stopped other ferrets around them in close contact from getting the virus. It's the way antivirals work is not just to, they, they, they stop replication. So by stopping replication sooner, earlier in the disease, the sooner, the better. Um, yeah, you reduce transmission as well as reduce the severity of illness. In fact, it's probably more about transmission than it is about severity of illness. So why then are we not distributing this medication or even the newly authorized Pfizer anti-COVID-19 pill known as Paxlovid as Omicron is spreading and hospitals are filling up? Dr. Steve Fagan says it's a supply problem. The goal is to distribute them much like we did monoclonal antibodies, which don't work well on Omicron. All health systems um, that are doing that are... Um, you know, preparing to sort of risk stratify and get that out. The problem right now, the pills are simply in very limited supply. Now, if you do get infected and do want to check for availability of these medications, make sure you reach out to your own doctor as soon as you have a confirmed diagnosis. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.